having some fun this summer and looking at movies and what they can teach us um, about our faith and about God and sometimes surprisingly, <laughs> I never thought that that was in there and there it is. And so today, anybody guessing from it? Oh, I said it already. Just follow the shells. Anybody? Finding Dory. So we're going to look at the baptism themes that are in this movie of Finding Dory. And what I love from this movie is that Dory is very clear about something that we all try to hide, especially in our individualistic culture, um, that we can do this. And Dory's like, mm -mm, I can't do it alone. I absolutely can't. And so even when she has directions to go into the pipes towards the end to find her parents, she's like, I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it alone. Um, but what Dory has done that sometimes we fail to do is that she has built family and friendships wherever she has been. And so when she is in the pipes, she isn't alone because she's got her pipe pal destiny right there. And they get Bailey all working with his, you know, world's, what is it, most powerful bifocal or glasses, his sonar, right? Um, and so she has all these fun facts stored. And so she actually empowers people to be who they are, but we're able to be without her and then are able to help her be the community to find her way through. It's all very tangled, but really beautiful. Right? And so there's a mutuality in that, and that we don't do this world and this journey alone. We can't. We just talked about making a promise to resist the powers of evil and the spiritual forces of wickedness. When we come up against sharks in a movie, we know the danger or a giant black lit squid that is going to get us. Sometimes they're not quite as clear when we go through life but they are just as real. And so we need one another because alone we don't stand a chance, but with family we do. And not just family because parents, I'm so sorry because I know how much you love your babies. You're not gonna be able to be there for every moment and you're not gonna be able to protect them from everything. And that's gotta be one of the hardest things to take in as a parent. But that's why we have more than our families at home. That's why we have all of us. Because dangers will come, risks will show up, wind will blow that threaten the lives we celebrate. We have all been hurt and we all will be hurt. The difference is where we stay. Dory found Marlon and Nemo and found life. And even when Marlon was ready to turn his back on Dory because he just couldn't handle her forgetting one more time, that doesn't sound familiar for parents at all, right? Nemo was there to call him back and to remember what Dory had taught them and how they were able to survive because of her. We have to stay connected with our family if we're gonna survive, not just in body, but in spirit. Because Dory was fine, she was safe in that reef. And then she remembered her family and she rushed off the ledge again and Marlin is just having a fit, right? Can't we ever just go to this edge and enjoy the view? Does it always have to be one of us trying to run off across the ocean somewhere? Can we just stay safe for once, please? A life of following Christ isn't about a life of safety. It is about following. And Marlin, Marlin who loves his safety more than any of us, goes with Dory because she asks him if he knows what it feels like to miss something, to miss his family. And of course, we know that that's the whole story of Finding Nemo. And because he knows that and because they are tied together, he goes. So may we do this journey together. And may we do a journey that isn't afraid to take risks. Because in those risks, we find fun facts of how long sea turtles have lived that we never knew before. 
but we also find out who we are. One of the most beautiful things about this journey is about Dory, who's so helpless and so down on herself and thinking it's her fault and she's this awful person because she can't remember and she brings all this trouble and can't she just get it together to becoming one of the fiercest one who takes Hank um, and make sure that he gets over his fear um, and goes not to the Cleveland Aquarium, but back to the ocean. Um, and all of that is because of her willingness to risk and to do this journey. And that journey is possible and those risks are possible because of the community that she does them with, because of the way that she has built that community. She didn't have to. There's these whole scenes of her going and trying to go up to people and ask them to help her and they either just keep going or we can't do that if you don't remember the name or um, she you know, calls an older friend fish an older couple and they leave in a huff and she's like oh sorry or there's another couple that's out and she's like oh date night I get it right and so she gives this grace to people that enables them to give grace back to her when she needs it so if we can do this baptismal journey and taking risks and finding grace and when the wind blows and our candle goes out if we can remember to follow the shells. Barry? This is my beloved, my daughter, with whom I am well pleased. Do we have what the parents said, Barry?
rescue, Marlon and Nemo. But that's the moment, right? That's the moment we all need. That kind of hug, that kind of love, that kind of homecoming. And that's what we have in God, our heavenly parent, who sets out shells for us so that we can remember and follow in our own Ethan, in our own Anthony, in our own Dory way to know where home is and to no matter what happens, to find it and to bring it not just for ourselves, but for the rest of our family that we found along the way as well. What Dory does in this next bit of rescuing Marlin and Nemo, she hits impossibility after impossibility after impossibility with people telling her to give up and stop because it's no longer feasible because there's just no way. And she insists that there is always a way. And so we go back to Molly's scripture that she read today. We go back to John the Baptist preparing a way. We go back to the God we serve who makes a way where there is no way. But the question for us is will we be the Dories who just keep swimming, who find that way and follow the shells no matter what, Or will we be the Hanks that are ready to live in a glass box for the rest of our lives because that's what's safer and what we know? This is the question that we have before us as we do our own discipleship journey, a journey that resists powers of evil and spiritual forces of wickedness, A journey that seeks to follow Christ with all of who we are, joined together with brothers and sisters all around this world as we seek to be the church that God has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races. And so we fight. We fight to find a way where there is no way. We fight to hold a line and a boundary on just how evil the powers of evil can be so that we can keep up and our Ethan safe so that there is room to grow so that there's room to mess up so that there's grace given so that there's truth learned so that all of us find our way home and all of us know that we are God's children with whom God is well pleased amen